by November or December we'll have a new winner also. So yeah, that's it. All the very best. Thank you for coming. So good morning. Today is the 5th of October 2019 and guess what? Today is the first day of audition of Miss Callum Bong 2019. Your brother is the official vlogger for this event. So well, just heading towards Chesang's place to get my bike and after that I need to head towards the town. The venue is, what's the place's name? Basement. Basement Callum Bong. Opposite Adarsh Nursing Home. So chalo, I'll see you folks directly out there, alright? In three, two, one. So just reached the shoot location, which is basement opposite Adarsh Nursing Home. And by the way, I forgot to wish you folks something. Happy full party from the both of us. So anything you want to say to the? I want to say all the very best to all the participants who are coming for the pageant audition today, and yeah, looking forward for the best year ahead. The event called Beauty with a Purpose and what is the purpose he'll be explaining to you. So our theme for Miss Callum Pong 2019 is Beauty with a Purpose. So Beauty with a Purpose is all about serving the society. Our finalists this year will be serving the society in many ways. We'll be going to old age homes, children home visits and doing a lot of things that will influence the youth in Kalimpong. Trying to inculcate the zero waste Himalaya concept which is all about using less plastics. So in our event we are trying to use really less banners because previous years we used to have huge banners which are actually useless after the event and that is um, Probably it is disrupting the environment, so this year we are using less banners and for the girls who are coming for the uh, training during the grooming sessions, we are trying to again follow the zero waste concept by making them bring their own bottle, bring their own food and create less of plastic use. Yeah, that's it. So now you heard from the CEO itself, so now enjoy a few cinematic shots then Probably the on distance will be coming in and then we'll get a bit close up to them. So what has your life been like before mis being the Miss Canada 2017 and after winning the thing? Um, there's no much changes but before I was really shy and not very confident. I would not face the crowd. I could not face the crowd. But now I'm really confident in myself. I can, you know, talk well. I can, you know, face everything. So I think that's I gain more of courage and confidence. From that's a very important thing when it comes to your personal growth, right? Yes. You grew as a person. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to say to the girls, young girls, coming out here for the auditions today? I would like to say that you should always be positive about yourself. You should never be like backed or something about you know your height or your looks or whatever it is. You should always come up if you have if you're always interested if you're always interested in all these things. You always come up, come up and then face this challenge. It's a very good platform to promote yourself and also it's very good you know thing in the town that's happening. It's a very big thing in the town that's happening. So I think this is a very you know great platform for the girls. Right now I am with the first and the second runner-up of Miss Callum Pong 2018, right? Pragya is here, Vrishili is here. And well, Pragya, this question goes to you. How has Miss Callum Pong 2018, you were the first runner-up, right? How has it helped you grow as a person? My Miss Callum Pong journey was uh, very amazing. I've learned many things, like uh, mostly my personality has developed to another level. I've learned to be more confident. I've learned about grooming and uh, many more things which will be fruitful in the future. So I'd like to tell all the young, talented and beautiful girls of Kalimbong to take a step in this platform and explore yourselves to become a great version of you. Thank you. So the second question, not a question basically, this goes to Prashendi out here, the second runner-up of Miss Kalimbong 2018. And well, what advice do you have to the young, beautiful women who are coming out here for the auditions today? The advice I want to give to the young woman who's going to come here today is that Miss Kalimbong is not just looking for someone who is beautiful and confident, but someone who can be a better version of themselves. The best, in fact. And that is the thing that we want the most in our next Miss Kalimbong. So right now I'm with Mr. Kalimbong 2019. Can I introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Senchung Lipsha. 
So yes, this guy is the first Mr. Kalambo when it comes to pleasure is right. So this guy was even heard when it came to bodybuilding from Mr. Kalambo. Yes, okay. Wow, bro, congrats. <laughs> and by the way, the questions which I wanted to ask you were very simple, okay? How was the entire experience with being the first Mr. Kalambo? It was a new thing for me. It was very fun. Uh, we learned a lot of things in Mr. Kalimbo pageantry. It helped, it helped me grow as a person. First of all, I was a very shy person. Uh, I couldn't even talk in front of the camera like I'm talking right now. So what you see right now is all because of Mr. Kalimbo pageant that has helped me a lot. That's all I can say. So we have our first contestant out here, Saina Tamang, aged 17 years. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Are you nervous for the auditions? Uh, this is my first interview. It's your first interview? So we, we have, like this year we have all the ex-contestants, we, we judge the ex-contestants and the winners. So the first Mr. Kalim Kong and Shaitan Mangish, they are the runners-up and he is the newly crowned Mr. Kalim Kong. So I'm Arjun, I'm the CEO and we have like entire team judging who and like covering entire event. So yeah, introduce yourself. Kashim Singhla Plantation, Monsung Division. I'm studying in class 11, Monsung High Secondary School. What inspires you to bring here enough? Who inspires you? My parents. My parents are my biggest inspiration. They always support me in everything. I recently finished a master's last year and joined BA. And besides that, I am a freelance host and model for music videos and stuff. And I write scripts for movies and act. So you've been doing a lot of things in the glamour industry. So I don't. Why do you call yourself a model? Uh, because I feel like it. I feel myself like that when I'm like in that field. But I'm like. But you're not tied really up good. with any um company, not yet, company not agents, yet. nothing. Not right? yet. So you're like a freelance model. Freelance. Have you worked with any sort of brands and maybe, or maybe local brands for me? Uh, so brands. Really talent form, cash in. I really like. I really have more of them, but like I've been like uh, tied up like various production houses, not yeah. brands. So I want to prove them wrong. Things, you know, like 
it's not just in academics, but uh, this industry as well. So obviously, I want to feel good, and after that, if I become this talent bomb, I have the voice, I have my fan base, and through them, I'll do good whatever I can. So in the next two to three years, what the title offers me is the prestige that it gives me. I want to use it 110 percent. I want to give it to the, um, not the society, the authority, and everything. So we are done with the auditions of Miss Kalimbong 2019 and here we are in Durpin. We have come here to do some photo shoots of the winners of Miss Kalimbong 2018. Right? So 17 years old, right? Just 2018. I'm going to buy a lot of money. 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 So here is the winner of Miss Kalimbong 2018. Binu Tamong, eh, Bini? Hi. Number five, Yawani, and Brishel Yawani, out there. Right now, I have the candles saying 25. I'm old and well, I have my birthday cake given by Ashwita. Thank you so much. And this is gonna be the first unboxing of the cake. And seriously, I haven't checked how it looks. All right, so this is gonna be a big surprise to me as well. Wow, this looks amazing. Just check it out. This is how you should eat a cake. Uh -huh. No, I'm not allergic to it. Couple man. So now the cake looks like this. I have requested everyone not to cut my face. So it's been a long day, but it has been worth it. So thank you so much for making me a part of the day. Until next time, this is 25 year old Priyam Gurung, and I will see you very, very soon. Till then, take care, bye bye, and cheers to life. Thank you so much. And Ashwita, thank you so much. Prayash, thank you. Prasanza, thank you. And thank you to all the crew members of. Calibong Pigeons official. Bye bye. How do you feel? What is Borsa? After reaching 25. Quite frankly, yesterday and today it's still the same. What? It's still the same, come on, it's just one one day, right? But in the years to come, I'm gonna be old. And then? And then probably die <laughs> after getting old. What? That's life, right? You get born, you grow up, you become old, and then you die.